Hello, and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. If this whole get up and this coffee mug and everything looks familiar, you're right, you got me. I just finished filming my sips by for the month of August, and I decided to just keep on going and get another film video out of the way uh, for the future. Uh, don't know when this one will go up since all of my boxes are coming in and I have a few other things that I'm going to be doing soon. However, wanted to get another one out of the way and have it on hand in case I needed it. But this is our turmeric and salted caramel tea, which I am all loving despite the 90 degree heat. <clears throat> that is, that is good. That is really, really good. I'm really surprised that the stash tea is holding up against the um, Harney and Sons. It's just, it's amazing. Very nice combination. Highly recommend it if you're interested. Anyway, as I shuffle things around and make more noise. So today I am doing what I'm calling the channel six tag. It's probably not a very unique tag, but it is a tag that I'm sort of putting together. And I have six the six questions, who, what, when, where, how, and why. Who, what, when, where, how, and why, yep. To answer about our channels. And I do intend to tag a few people towards the end, but let's go ahead and get into these questions. And if you're interested in doing the tag yourself, I wouldn't mind it, but here we go. So question number one. Who most inspired or encouraged you to start a channel? It could be direct encouragement or someone who you watch who inspired you. So, who inspired me the most would be Alexandria Ryan. She is a unboxing channel primarily. She doesn't do a whole lot of other types of stuff. She does do other things. She does... Um, uh, do a couple of get ready with me's and she does do unboxing of PR when she gets it and things like that but she's primarily an unboxing channel and as silly as it sounds I looked at that and went well that seems kind of easy I could do something similar to that couldn't I oh, I better check and make sure nobody else my age is doing that um, which I will get into later in a minute but the other thing was is um, at the time I also was tired um, I had my grandson that I was trying to help take care of and we had a lot of stuff going on in the house and my um, exercise and my writing uh, routines were completely disrupted to the point that they didn't exist and my writing is was my creative outlet and Without it, I was getting even more aggravated. And so the um, the idea of doing a video channel while it scared me to death, uh, gave me a way, also an outlet for some creativity. Um, didn't expect it to be quite so expensive, but hey, you know, it's cool. It's cool, we're, we're managing. Um, so she was my my first uh, inspiration, so to speak. Um, and then I was kind of on the fence about it for a while, but I started uh, talking with a couple of the ladies in my uh, Facebook Ipsy group, and several of them encouraged me to go ahead and get started, including Jennifer, um, and a couple of others also encouraged me. The names are escaping me. It's, it's not you, it's me. I have a terrible memory. ADHD and anemia just wipes out the memory cells, wipes out the brain cells, I'm telling you. But a couple of them encouraged me and I finally took a deep breath and took the plunge and just did it. And uh, yeah, so that's the who of, of my channel. Next, why a beauty channel, beauty YouTube channel, when there are so many YouTube channels, particularly beauty channels. I, like I said, one of the things that I did when um, I was thinking about it is I went looking around for old Hispanic ladies. I'm an old Hispanic lady. I don't look like an old Hispanic lady, I'm sure. I've been told that I look a lot younger than I am. I am in my mid-50s. Um, and I was also looking for um, women that, along my age group, that I could relate to, 
Um, a lot of the YouTubers are, you know, in their late teens, early 20s, early 30s in there. And while I love a lot of them, I love Alexandria, I like uh, V. Lopez, uh, I like Lacey of Spooky Lips. Um, I love a lot of those ladies. They are still much younger than me. They're from a different generation than I am. Um, they have some other issues that I don't have to deal with and I have issues that they don't have to deal with. So when I went hunting uh, around to see if there was anything like me for me, I didn't find anything. Now it's quite possible that they're out there and I just didn't look far enough. Um, YouTube has a horrible way of um, setting things up in such a way that it can be very hard to find what you want unless it's a really, really popular channel. Um, several of the ones I found were in Spanish and while I am half Puerto Rican, um, I don't speak Spanish. I took six or seven years of it and I still don't speak Spanish. I'm terrible. Uh, so the Spanish channels didn't work for me and even there a lot of them, most of them were quite a bit younger than me. And then there's also that whole issue of finding some, somebody you can relate to. Um, and I was having trouble finding that as well. So that's why I finally went with a YouTube channel. And I went with beauty because I thought beauty would be easy for one. You know, opening boxes, showing off makeup. I thought that would be easy. It's a little bit more difficult than I thought. Uh, to be fair, um, also to be fair, I tend to research a bit more than most people I know. <laughs> I don't just go, hey, I've opened this box and here's this cool thing and let's swatch it and it's great and that's it and then you never see it again. Um, you, you get to see some of the stuff that I've opened and I talk about it later, either in my Sample Queen series or when I open the next uh, box. Um, so it is a bit more involved than I thought it would be. Um, but the other thing is, is I don't have a regular camera or a tripod. So my other interests, working out and baking and gardening, I did find a way around the gardening, but for the others, it's a little more difficult because I need to be able to set the camera up in such a way that it can see what I'm doing uh, without me having to finagle it. And I just don't have the setup to do that for either of the other two, which is the exercise and the baking. So it kind of became beauty by default, which I don't mind. I was just getting back into beauty as well. So it actually kind of helped push me along in my um, journey. Um, and that um, is a good thing, really. So number three, what makes your channel unique? Well, I think there are a couple of things now. First of all, like I said, I didn't find any channels in my age range, <laughs> or at least not many, and not many that I related too well, and even less, if any, I don't recall finding any um, that were Latina in particular. I'm still trying to find a channel that's focused on my kind of Latina hair, uh, rather than the kinky curly kind of hair. Um, still haven't been able to find it. So I think, um, one of the first things that make my channel unique is my age. Um, the fact that I'm in my 50s and um, still using makeup and I'm really kind of hoping that that will encourage other older women to not feel like they have to stick with uh, plain Jane makeup, so to speak. Um, I'm actually planning to do hopefully a series of colorful looks to show uh, older women that they don't have to stick with neutrals. Um, they don't have to be safe. You can wear what you want. If you think a color is pretty, wear it. Um, but so the first thing is that make, makes me unique is the fact that um, I'm an older Latina lady. Granted, I don't speak Spanish, but I'm an older Latina lady. The second thing that makes my channel unique is my teas. I open my um, channel with a bag of tea every single time almost, I think. I don't think other than the gardening photos. And if I ever get managed to do the exercise and I ever manage to do the baking stuff, they won't have the cup of teas, but the cup of tea at the opening has become sort of my um, 
my hallmark and I get to taste it and I get to tell you guys about it and hopefully I'm introducing you all to some new teas that you haven't tasted. Let me take another taste of this one. Mm. So I think that makes my channel unique as well. I'm sharing my tea and something else that I really enjoy. And it's helping me sort of get through some of my tea. <laughs> sort of. Um, also, finally, is something that I just started doing. Um, most unboxing um, channels unbox the same boxes every month. And I started off that way but I now have one every month or every other month or so that um, I rotate. And so I will now be, um, it won't get the same kind of reviews as the BoxyCharm or the Ipsy um, or the Curlbox because it they don't repeat very often. However, it gives my viewers a chance to see a variety of different boxes. I am currently limited by budget at how expensive the fourth um, rotating box can be. However, I think that also makes my channel unique in the fact that I'm not just unboxing the same boxes all the time or dropping one box that I've just uh, did for six months to pick up another one for six months. I am rotating one of the things so that you guys can see a broader um, a broader uh, view of the box, the number of boxes, subscription boxes, beauty boxes in particular, that are out there. Um, I have considered doing some other um, kinds of boxes in there. You know, um, I recently sampled Vela box. Uh, I enjoyed that. So I'm looking at possibly just a bunch of different things. So um, if my beauty boxes. Uh, at the $20 and under mark, I can't find any more uh, that I can, you know, get for the one month. I may end up going to some other ones. But so those are the things that make me unique. Old, old dragon tea um, rotating boxes. So there you go. Number four, how do you decide or choose what to film? Is it all your interest, requests from viewers or combo or something else? Well, four of my films a month are pretty much decided by my boxes. Um, every now and then I get, see a tag that I want to try. I just started doing tags. I did my first tag recently. This is my second tag. Um, beyond that, it's pretty much all me. <laughs> Um, my following is so small that um, I have tried to like do a Q&A and I don't get any questions. I guess I'm too much of an open book for the people that I do have. Um, I don't get too many. I did get one suggestion of uh, something to do and I went and looked it up because I'd never heard it before. and went, no. <laughs> it was something that I thought... Um, I kind of thought the suggestion was made to make me do something that would make me look, I don't know, I can't even explain it. It was just a very odd suggestion and I just went, nah, I'm not going to do that. Not for me. I would take suggestions from viewers. Um, they just seemed happy with what I post. So uh, if you guys have suggestions, go for it. Other than that, it's my boxes. It's... Um, uh, hauls that are coming in when they come in. Um, it's, you know, I did do a couple, I did do two brand reviews. I did a review on Perfusion uh, based on a PR box, and I did a review on um, ColourPop, which was too damn expensive when I bought it. And then, of course, the Sample Queen series is basically because samples I can get either cheap or free, and that makes it easy to do those kinds of videos. Um, so that's it. It's a lot of it is what I have on hand, uh, the boxes, um, what I'm in the mood to do, what I could think of to do, um, the ch tag channel, the channel tag thing. Um, yeah, just I don't get a lot of input from um, my viewers on what they would like to see. So most of it's me. I'm open to suggestions warning that I may not take your suggestion, but I'm open to suggestions. Where does your channel filming fit into your life? 
initially it was to help with my creativity so I just did it whenever I wanted to do it um, now that I'm getting my routines back I've started writing again I'm working out again um, I'm no longer caring for my grandson so I no longer have to invest a bunch of time there um, I'm having to uh, be more um, more scheduled um, I try to film Mondays and Fridays. Sometimes I have to skip. When my eyes were a mess, I ended up having to skip more days in between uh, the Friday and Monday filming just to give them a break. They're doing much better. I have one minor issue going on under here that I still have to work on. But as soon as I'm done... Hi, Rogue! That's my girly Rogue. Hi, girly! Not going to say hi. Okay. She's not going to say hi. She's going to stare at you. She's having her own problems, too. We're having a horrible, horrible summer, and they're having a horrible summer, too, with the fleas and stuff. But anyway, um, so now I have to kind of uh, schedule it and try to fit it in, especially if I want to get writing done. Um, uh, editing takes a bit of time, and so all of that uh, has to be taken in consideration. Plus, you know, I've got my usual things. I've got house things that I've got to do. So... Um, I don't work. I stay at home with my son, so that's a good thing. I don't have to work it around a job, but I do have to work it in around other things. Um, so right now, it is scheduled, generally speaking, for Mondays and Fridays with, um, if I remember them, two video uh, garden videos a week. I know I missed a garden video recently, but at least on Wednesdays and sometimes another day in the week, as long as my garden is going. I'm not sure how long that's going to be at this point, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's, we'll move on. <laughs> uh, when are you happiest with the channel and when are you the most frustrated? Happiest. Um, happiest. I am happiest when I get comments that tell me that they somebody really enjoyed a, a video. Um, when they tell me that what I've had to say has helped them, uh, when people tell me that they like the fact that I do go further in depth than most people, um, things like that make me very, very happy that I feel like my channel is, is not necessarily growing, but reaching the people that are watching it and that they're feeling like it is helping them in some way. That is when I am happiest. When am I the most frustrated? Editing. I'm still stuck with the sucky Windows media. I can't afford to get editing software. I've checked out some other free software and it's it's just confusing as all get out. Um, I also get really frustrated with, um, damn, I gotta really think about this. When am I most frustrated? When I have to refilm a lot, that's very frustrating too. I honestly try not to let it get to me too much. Does that make sense? This is for fun. I'm not... It would be nice if I could earn some money. I, I, I'm going to admit that. With the way our finances are, that kind of bonus would be very, very helpful to my family. Um, however, that's not why this was started. Um, you have to have a thousand subscribers to qualify for just about anything. You have to have a thousand subscribers to qualify for monetization. You have to have a thousand subscribers to qualify for, um, I can't even remember the name of it. It's a program that gives you, uh, free, full, free, full-sized items from, um, beauty products from various different places. I really wish I could remember the name, but I'm terrible. Um, so essentially, and I just tried to do um, something else that would do shortening of your links or something. And, and even they said you had to have more subscribers. So I have to have about a thousand subscribers to actually get anything that I don't have to pay for that I, and to get any kind of money input on the channel. Um, I'm at 220. I have been around 200 for several months now. I'm not expecting to hit 1,000 anytime soon. So I cannot look at it as um, a money thing. And I knew that from the beginning that I couldn't look at it as a money thing. I figured being 50 and 
not being as knowledgeable as some of these ladies. I'm not a makeup artist. I don't, I don't go into um, um, ingredients the way Jen Loves Reviews does. Um, I don't do any of this stuff. I just, I try it out, tell you how it worked for me, and that's it. So I figure getting frustrated with it uh, wouldn't make too much sense because uh, it's supposed to be for fun. It's an outlet for me. It's it's not, um, it's not doing, it's not that, I don't want to say it's not that important because I've seen that a lot of people really like it. I hate it when she walks amongst my coffee mugs. And she wants to get on the top. There she goes. <laughs> um, so with the channel itself, I don't really get frustrating. I will say filming can get frustrating when I have told my family I'm, I'm filming and for some reason they're in and out and making noise and having to talk to me and banging doors and stuff's going on and that gets really frustrating really fast, but that's not the channel itself. So, um, I don't know, I guess... I was frustrated when I first started to get harassed by a few people and told to uh, stop filming. But I was more frustrated with them than with the channel. So I don't know. The channel itself, I don't think frustrates me that much. It's other related stuff that can frustrate me. But the channel itself, no, it doesn't. It can't. Like I said, it's it's supposed to be for fun, and it's if it's not fun, I take a break, or if I have to take a break. I'll, okay, so that's kind of frustrating. That was very frustrating, and the fact that it's continuing. When my eyes got messed up, I had to stop uh, filming for a while because my eyes were messed up. So that was frustrating, and it's going to be frustrating coming up in a sense because. I'll be getting my Ipsy bags and stuff like that. And I will not be able to give the kind of reviews I'm used to giving because I couldn't use the stuff that much. So my reviews will not be as in depth as they usually are. Um, that's frustrating. If you have an issue like that come up that stops you from doing the best job that you can do. So yes, that would be, that would be a frustrating thing about the channel is when I cannot do, uh, for whatever reason, the best job that I can do. I always give um, 110 percent, a thousand percent of myself to something. I, I, when I'm in, I'm pretty much all in and um, to not be able to do the full extent of what I think uh, all in entails can be very frustrating for me. So that is frustrating when I cannot do um, a complete job at what I think I should be doing, if that makes sense. Anyway, so that is the channel six. We had our who, why, what, how, when, and where. Reverse those, but they're there. And if you're interested in doing the channel six tag, <laughs> this is gonna be an entertaining video. Um, if you're interested in doing the channel six tag, please feel free. But in the meantime, I'm going to tag Alexandria Ryan, Spooky Lips Lacey, and V Lopez to do their version of the channel six. I will have the questions listed down below. If you are new to my channel, I hope you like what you've seen and will subscribe. It would mean everything to me. But if you don't subscribe, that's fine. If you do subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if you don't subscribe, that's fine. I do hope we will see you again. And when we do, I hope you will bring your cup of tea. Oh, God. That's so good. Turmeric and salted caramel. Who knew? I hope you have a good day.